Hello and welcome to Anvil. I should probably say welcome back, because I actually played this game a while back before it released into early access on Steam. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description, and this video is kindly sponsored. Anyway, there are a number of different characters you can play in this game, as well as a number of different pets that you can get to accompany you while you adventure around in the various levels that you will be able to defeat multiple enemies. And obviously say this is an action RPG slash roguelike experience you can also play with your friends it's cooperative too so that's actually kind of amazing anyway there's also an upgrade system as you can see right here and this is obviously going to change how your character kind of responds to various situations and you're going to be able to increase your weapon power increase your health increase your movement speed and so on and so forth obviously I don't have anything at the moment because this is literally the first time I'm booting up the early access version of the game as i said before i was mostly playing the demo and speaking of the demo there is also a demo available so if you don't want to purchase the game straight away and you want to try it out because the game is very polished and very fluid in its gameplay then you can of course do that and breakers are the characters in this game and you can see here that i currently have three characters unlocked you're going to be able to unlock additional characters with the use of this currency i have no idea what this is uh not enough crons apparently i don't have i don't have enough crons but hopefully i'll be able to get some more crons so that we can finally unlock some of the other characters personally i actually really like the look of the one i'm playing at the moment which is elsa she is uh sort of like a frozen frozen kind of uh yes mm, i know i know it's a bit of a bit of a reference right there i suppose but whatever the case uh she's very very cool <laughs> no pun intended and we are going to try and see what we can do in the Cherny Galaxy right here. So, here we go. This is a solo challenge. Let's start. And here we go. There are five levels in this particular campaign. You can play with a maximum of two players in this uh, particular one, and hopefully we're going to be able to see exactly how we do. Obviously, I have not, as I said before, not played the game since the demo, and so as I I'm going to be... Mm. I used to play a melee character, right? I used to mostly play melee, so I am going to be a little rusty when it comes to fighting here. But there is a massive pet that I can summon, and I'm going to show you exactly what's going on with that. Activate the battle worker is one of my objectives right now. And this is the massive pet that I can summon. I'm going to summon it right away. Ow, I just got, just got murdered by this guy. So we're just going to summon this right now. There we go. There's the massive thing i'm not entirely sure what it does but hopefully it's going to do something amazing and it seems to have a, a health bar of its own but that doesn't actually even matter because apparently we are just murdering everything in sight which is very cool every single one of your abilities has a cooldown for the most part and you can also have a short range dash slash teleport dependent on the character that you have and you can also upgrade your various abilities while you are in the game as well so for example while i gain this experience right here i can also upgrade my skills this is the roguelike portion of the game so as you can see here i have ice wave minus 100 percent defense for 10 seconds if a target's hit by ice wave that's actually kind of insane you can also get plus 50 percent weapon power and attack speed near the beast summoned from beast call uh i'm actually gonna take ice wave i think this is actually kind of insane in my opinion let's go for an ice wave build and see how that goes i think it's gonna be kind of amazing there's also a ping system in the game where you could say come here to your uh, cooperative apartment uh, cooperative apartment no partner <laughs> just in case you are uh, playing without a voice or anything like that i'm actually just gonna summon my big my big helper minion here and uh this oh th okay Th that died very quickly okay this is this is a bit problematic let's do this there we go there's ice wave and as you can see i'm gonna get rid of all these guys real e real easy because i just used my ultra blast ability and it is a bit close range so obviously i'm gonna need to be a little bit careful about using it and i don't really want to go into melee too too fast because i don't have a lot of hp as far as i can tell my hp i think is thirty-five thousand. generally in this game you have 
very large numbers that you're going to be seeing. Anyway, here's the relic chest. So, 25% power increase when HP is 80% or higher. This is kind of like a passive perk, as far as I can tell. 15% uh, attack power increase at the start of every planet after clearing the fifth planet. Mm. Uh, I'm actually going to go for Charging Defender, in my opinion. I think that actually seems really, really powerful, so we're going to do that. Also, as you can see, there's also a certain system in regards to enemies becoming it intermittently more powerful um, sometimes. And you can see here that's Artemis's Obstruction that is coming in and uh, potentially making enemies very, very powerful for 30 seconds. Thankfully, I was not actually in any kind of battle, so I didn't really need to worry about that. And I'm going to obviously obliterate every single opponent that comes towards us. Thankfully, I can stay quite far away with Elsa. Obviously, these guys, as a melee character, might be kind of difficult. But thankfully, I don't need to worry about that because I am a ranged person. There we go. Very nice. Let's, let's eliminate them. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, great. They actually all... Oh, they, they leave pools on the floor. Poisonous, toxic pools on the floor. That is certainly not something I want to step into. And obviously I'm going to try and destroy every single one of these barrels too. Gotta say, melee seems a lot easier when it comes to the, the uh, default ability that you can use. Because it seems to destroy these barrels much, much quicker. But maybe I just need to utilize the other thing a little bit more. The uh, the right click, the ultra blast. Anyway, we have lightweight magazine here, weapon amplification field, and boss target. This is actually kind of amazing. 15% additional damage to bosses. I think I might want to take multiples though, so I'm going to go for attack speed increase. And we're going to go for boss target. We're going to go for some more damage. More damage right here. There we go. You can already tell the attack speed is kicking in quite nicely. Can I not go this way? Oh, wait. Maybe I can teleport past that. No, I can't. Okay, well, as you can see, whenever I teleport, or whenever Elsa teleports, shall we say, she leaves behind kind of a, a clone of herself that explodes a little bit later on past that time. There's a big enemy right there. Okay, let me, let me dodge real quick. <laughs> oh, okay, let me see here. What can I do? Boom. And as you can see, that Ice Wave ability is super powerful with the minus 100% defense debuff that I can apply to them. And I'm just going to now have to deal with the large enemy. I have full HP right now, just picked up some, some health. There we go, just getting my big ice. Ice guy out there. And there we have it. It's nice. Okay, so yeah, those little guys, by the way, that uh, pounce on you, they can immobilize you for a little bit of time. So definitely something you don't want to get hit by. And you can see here, it seems like the enemies are just about to get... A bit more difficult and enemies are going to scale in level as you progress so generally you are going to be rewarded as far as I can tell at least for being just that little bit quicker I'm actually going to be um, moving away from the enemies for the moment because I don't really want to fight them while they have this buff and you can see here there's actually like a sniper after me at the moment there we go just murder them with my ultra blast Whoa, I actually get massive amounts of rewards for this. Okay, I had no idea that that was actually the case. Okay, so here's a Gatling gun. Fires multiple rounds at once after charging. The higher the charge level, the higher the number of rounds fired. And there's also another one. Oh, okay. Um, but they, they, they all have different abilities as well. They all have different statistics and uh, skills that they're going to give you. So I'm actually wondering... Hmm... Plus 50% weapon power, that sounds pretty good, but a 30% skill power increase, as well as increased attack speed, yes, I will take this one. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now that drastically changes how I am... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That drastically changes how I am actually going to be playing 
And that's something that I've very much enjoyed about Anvil in the past. Because whenever I've been playing, I thought to myself, okay, there's this new weapon here. Is it any good? Is it something that I want to use? And usually I'll say, well, yeah, you know, this seems like a pretty good, you know, pretty good um, piece of equipment. But then you think, well, it changes how I play so significantly that it's basically like playing almost a different character, which is actually amazing. So pretty cool. Anyway, let me see if I can... Oh, no. This is... Oh, this is bad. Okay, I'm just going to use Ultra Blast real quick just to get rid of uh, most of these enemies. And uh, this big glacial worm thing that I'm using, very, very useful to um, kind of... Uh, what is it now? To distract. Yes, there we go. Okay, uh, what's this? Ignore 20% of the enemy's defense. Yeah, I'm actually being attacked right now. That's why I rushed a bit. Nice damage, gotta say, nice damage from this. And there we have it, nice. That was indeed the end of this planet, and it's only the first one. Bear in mind that uh, it was quite challenging, considering. And we now have 100 and... Ah, I don't have enough to be able to purchase that other thing, but I don't think I want it, because it is going to deal... 5% of my max HP. Uh, there was actually some more resources right there, but oh well, never mind. But yes, it was going to deal 5% of my max HP every single time I would use a skill, but it would give me plus 50% to my skill powers. So, that's a pretty significant power increase. Anyway, we now have the ability to go to the shop. And you can, of course, purchase some additional items if you want to. So, uh, you can see here that we have some handguns right here. Probably not going to be taking these. Because at the moment, I am I am using a tier 3 weapon. And these guys are literally just weapon power 100. And this I would like. <laughs> As you can see, this is actually kind of amazing. But obviously, I don't have enough for that. What about the Risk Shield Backpack? Generator Shield equivalent to 20% of the max HP for 15 seconds when your HP is lower than 30%. Mm. Okay, uh, increased critical hit chance. No, that's if you're really good at this game. I am not, so... Probably not the best idea. Completely restores HP. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be going for that either. So let's just go over here and select a new perk. Plus one beast. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Um, I... This other one is actually really good too. Heal allies near the beast summoned for 1% of your max HP per second. That can... Be you know, that could be very powerful, but I'm actually going to take the plus one, plus one beast because I feel like having a more, um, should we say, survivable distraction, that's going to be very, very useful. So I'm going to take that. All right. I am ready for battle. Let's do this. Okay, so it's a boss, as you can quite clearly tell. The centipede queen is here. And I will be very ready to die very easily, no doubt. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is kind of bad. Have I done any damage to her so far? No. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Okay, I did some nice damage. I was really trying right there, but no. That first boss, boom. Completely got me. Completely got me. So, here's the thing. Basically, what I should have done right there 
is I should have been a little bit quicker. Obviously, the enemy uh, enemy difficulty was pretty high at that point because I was a little bit slow. I was trying to explain some things, and generally uh, that definitely delayed me quite a bit. But I would have been able to defeat her. I actually would have been able to defeat her pretty easily if all I had done was just wait for my ice wave cooldown every single time and focus on uh, defense. Focus on defense, focus on dodging, and then I would have been absolutely fine. And that would have definitely made a huge difference. So, yeah, that's... There you go. That's uh, that's practice for you, you know? I, you got to get a little bit better as time goes on. So, yeah, there we go. And now uh, my Elsa is now level 2, which is actually kind of nice. So, generally what I could do is I could now change my breaker if I wanted to. I could go for the guillotine, which is obviously the... Uh, one of the... Um, who did I play before? I played this guy before in the demo. I played this guy. And he's really, really cool. Um, but I gotta say that generally I feel like every single um, every single character is so significantly different in the way that they play and the, the way that they interact with the various weapons in the game. I think that really makes a huge difference to its replay replayability because obviously it is a game very similar to other action RPGs, but they do it in such a polished and really kind of um unique sci-fi way i don't know maybe it's just me but i uh, i kind of i kind of like that all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right back in we're not gonna go to practice mode thank you very much and we're just gonna go right back in here and we're gonna see what we can do if i can go and defeat the boss this time so i'm gonna be a little bit quicker this time and i'm probably not going to should i even bother killing these look at how long it takes me to kill these things i mean it doesn't really give me that much does it now you also have to bear in mind that I'm actually going to be getting um, different enemies as well that's that's something you have to uh, remember that the game does actually give you different enemy types Every single time, basically, that you go into a fight. What is this weapon? Okay, this weapon is not to my liking. Let's just say that. It is not to my liking. It can barely destroy these barrels. I am not really in a mind to uh, try out something so new that I have no idea how it works. So what we're going to do is... Oh, what's this? Two times max beast HP? Or minus 100% defense. I think I might take the defense again. But I'm kind of wanting to see what I can do with the double beasts. Let's do the double beasts. And destroying these barrels is... Oh, it's very... Mm, I'm not very... Uh, not, not liking it too much, to be honest. I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna just leave these. Because I am a bit worried about the timer, you see. Because you see in the... Uh, you see in the top right here? This timer is kind of ticking away as I am making... Um, well, as I am taking my time to sort of move around and everything, so very much like to try and prevent myself from having to fight so many difficult enemies later down the line. Nice. Good damage, good damage. Thank you, beasts. You know what I'd really like to get? I'd really like to get some upgrades for my Ultra Blast. Because if I can get upgrades for that to kind of reduce its cooldown potentially, we are going to have a much, much easier time. I know, I know. It may sound like that's, um, you know, something uh, kind of obvious because Ultra Blast does seem to do some massive damage, but it's true, you know. It's definitely one of those abilities you want to try and buff as much as possible. These beasts are doing some massive damage, though. It's really nice to see that. Okay, enemy level 7 right now. I should go over here. Let's try and purchase something real fast. Uh, add shock effect to all attacks. Um, no, I don't really care about that. I think skill power could be more useful. Let's do it. The machine god is keeping an eye on you. And there's the teleporter. There we go. And that is exactly where we want to go. Alright, let's do this. I have two seconds for beasts, so I'm going to wait until I can do that. There we go. And there are the beasts. Fantastic. And now I'm getting attacked by the increase 
in enemy strength. Okay, that is going to be a little bit problematic, but thankfully my beasts are absolutely destroying every single enemy around here, so I don't even need to worry about them. And we can now use Ultra Blast to clear the area. All right, well, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that I was able to um, defeat those guys so so simply, but uh, I suppose it's because they are such low levels still, at least for the moment. That is going to change very quickly, so let me see if I can find my way. Ah, it's this way. There we go. Okay, we're going to summon beasts again. There we go. Nice. They actually do AoE damage when they... When they uh, when they appear, so that's actually amazing too, because that means that you can aim them in such a way so that they are going to hit whatever enemy is right there. Okay, I should have used Ice Wave a little bit later. I think I may have made a slight mistake. I think I'm pretty good. Okay, plus fifty percent damage against poison targets. Mm, I don't really, I don't really know how how good that is. Power chip, recover HP when a skill hits an enemy target. I'm gonna continue getting this actually. I'm gonna continue leveling up my powers. We're gonna get a petrification reactor as well because after ten hits, I can petrify an enemy target. I have no idea what that means, but I can only hope it's like a big stun. A big stun would be nice. Was that it? That was easy. All right. Uh, recover 3%, 1%, no, 1% chance, no. Oh, there we go, we're actually done. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, I'm just gonna literally go on to the next, next planet straight away. We're gonna continue to try and be a little quicker than we were last time because as I said before, the reason why the enemies were so high level is because I had taken just a little bit too long as I was explaining some things. Anyway, let me see what I can do about this. Adds an effect that deals AoE damage equivalent to a thousand percent of attack power. What? Okay. Uh, heal all allies inside the AoE of Ice Wave for 20% of max HP. That is super nice. But I'm actually going to take the damage one. That sounds super, super fun. And we also have now the ability to choose between these things. I do not have enough to be able to purchase the homing handguns, which makes me very sad now, but it's okay. Uh, cryo beam cannon, mid-range cannon that fires a freezing beam, sustain fire increasingly widens this. Okay, I think I might buy this. What does the penetrator round do? Uh, uh, okay, no, I think I'm gonna buy the cryo beam cannon. I don't know if it's any good. Oh, it's this. This is this actually looks kind of nice, and it kind of makes sense with the theme of the character as well, because we are kind of a, a character that's all about um, all about freezing enemies and, and stuff. So hopefully it's gonna help me out. This is a different ah, yeah, it's a different boss. It's a different boss. So do bear that in mind. Beware, 
Machine guard souls have tracked you down. It seems like I won. Yeah, it seems like I won. That was really, really challenging, I gotta say. And uh, yeah, I actually just randomly went in here and purchased something. I didn't even know what I was buying. All right, deal 3% of attack power as damage to nearby enemies when receiving knockback. That actually sounds super, super nice. So we're gonna take that. Is there another one? Yes, there is. Let me see what else is here. Increase attack speed, uh, increase duration of status effects on enemy targets. That would have been amazing, but I don't have enough for that, so I'm going to buy the attack speed one. And I like the cryo beam cannon, i got to say. I like the new weapon that we have. So let's go to the next planet, and there you go. I was able to get past the first boss, and now we're on the next level. So let's see what I can do here. Is this... Oh, wow, this destroys these things. Oh, this weapon is nice. Look at that. That is juicy. Oh yes, that does so much damage. Oh, Ice Wave does so much damage too. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. And I like all the HP they're giving me too. I can now restore myself. What's this? Ranger? Oh no, you can you can keep that Ranger Cannon. I, I really don't like that weapon at all. Alright, hello there. Let us upgrade our skills. Plus 50% weapon power and attack speed near beast summoned from beast call. I'm going to continue upgrading my beast call. I think that's uh, sounding like a pretty nice idea. Destroy alien nests. Okay, that's what I have to do. I'm feeling really, really powerful right now. Oh, this. Oh, that's not a good idea. That is not a good idea for me to feel like that. I'm going to get overconfident and then bad things are going to happen. You know me. All right, let me see here. Adds a shock effect to all targets. Sure. Why not? Hmm. I sh you know, I feel like I should probably take the pumpkin candy as well. Recover 1% of the HP every five seconds. I think... It sounds like a very small benefit, but it kind of makes me think I should take it just because. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Oh, I literally walked into that. That was a really, really good idea of me. But yeah, uh, I personally feel like the HP regeneration, obviously they're not going to want it to be super, super powerful or anything like that, because if they were to make it super powerful, you'd basically be immortal. But I think this small percentage increase of your HP over time is definitely going to make a, a a pretty nice difference. Anyway, 50% uh, attack power increase at the start of every pat. Mm, yeah, I'm actually liking this. I'm liking the Medal of Comeback. Let's take it. And what else do we have here? Okay, I can't go that way. Um, let me see. Okay, we can go this way though. I was just wanting to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Okay, Ice Wave, just eliminate them all. Not, don't get hit by the explosions, thank you. And what else do we have? Recovers three rounds of ammo per second. Increased attack power. Mm-hmm. Give me that attack power. Thank you very much. I mean, attack speed, shall we say. I mean, basically, it translates into attack power, doesn't it? Because it does more damage faster, I guess. That kind of makes sense. Okay, we're being attacked. In three seconds. Danger level increased. Prepare against new threats. I was able to survive the ambush with 50%. They had 50% damage increase right there. Okay, so in fire, uh, fire incendiary scatter shots. Targets are burned after 10 hits. This might be cool, but I don't think so. Let's just try it. Actually, 
It seems pretty nice. Let me see how much damage it does against barrels. If I can. Ooh, what do we want here? On skip. What? This is crazy good. I will take that. Thank you. And we have another over there. Oh, hmm. Okay, I'm... Um, I'm in two minds right now, because I really like this. Increase max rounds, increase damage. Mm, sustained fire increases, targets are frozen. I mean, that's super nice, but this... How much? It reloads pretty fast. Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna go for this. We're gonna stay with this. If it sucks, then my my bad. Oh no, it doesn't suck. Okay, it doesn't suck. It's it's pretty nice. I like it. I like the way these weapons sound as well. They sound very, very satisfying. Okay, so let's have a look here. Mm, 15 seconds on the 25% power increase. That might be really nice, but I'm actually going to go for the critical... Actually, this duration module sounds really good, but I'm going to go for the critical power chip. I'd like it to... Mm, I, I don't know. I, I just like to generally have more damage with regular attacks. I seem to be doing quite a few critical hits, so having critical damage increase, definitely going to make... Quite a bit of sense here. All right, here we go. Next level. I am wondering whether this is going to be a boss. I don't think so. I think it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a special event. Okay, so this is the special event. Let's see what I can do here. Heal allies. Reset cooldown on a perfect dodge. Heal allies. Okay, I'm going to go for the beast call once again. That's some of these beasts right there. And I'm going to do ice wave over here. There we go, just gonna clear him out. Uh, let's see now, 50%. Yes, Ace of Spades, thank you. I will definitely take that. Oh, here we go. We're getting a big, big problem right now. My beasts are coming back up in five seconds. If I can just survive until they are here, it should be good.
Ooh, what's this? Oh, Gatling gun. Mm, not a big fan of the Gatling gun. Going to just continue running around here. I realize that we have um, failed the main objective, but if I can eliminate all of the enemies, I might still be able to continue onward. Nice. So if you stand within the little green ring around these um, these beasts, it actually is kind of amazing. All right, so let's have a look here. What, plus 100% weapon power, but plus 30% reload time. I unfortunately do not have the ability to get that. I don't have enough for it, so I'm just going to be taking the 90% weapon power increase. That sounds pretty cool to me. I'm now doing some really, really nice damage. What's this? Assault handgun. Handgun that fires rapidly to deal massive amounts of damage fast. Might be fun. Let's try it out. Wow, that actually seems pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's, let's try it, shall we? Let's try out the new one. Okay, so this is a boss, okay? Next level is 100% going to be a boss. And let's... Do our very best to achieve victory. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get a skill increase first. Increase damage area for Ultra Beam. Immunity to all status effects and plus 200% defense for five seconds when using Ultra Beam. I'm gonna take that. That sounds really, really powerful. And what else do we want here? I think I have maximum HP at the moment. Yes, I do have maximum HP. That's kind of amazing. I wouldn't have expected that in a million years, but okay. There you go. Not bad, we're, we're doing pretty well. And here we go. I am ready for battle. Medusa's eye. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, eyes of death. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very cool looking enemy as well. Okay, here we go. Gonna summon the beasts immediately. Gonna stand inside the circle so I can do massive damage. Okay, apparently I am literally just dying. Well, this is not particularly good, is it? No, I'm now being attacked by multiple rather rather bad enemies. I'm going to actually do a little bit of dodging here. And I'm going to try, if I can, to literally just stay out of um, stay out of reach for the moment.
Oh, she got me. All right. Yeah, it got me. It got me. I did not have enough dodges, you see. I didn't have enough dodges at the exact moment when I needed it. Unfortunately, I almost, I almost got her, actually. I almost got the boss down, but... Ah, mm, I don't know. This was a really, really fun weapon to use, by the way. I, I think it was the shock weapon. I basically just picked it up in a, a sort of like a, a frenzied moment because I thought to myself, okay, wait a minute. Maybe this is going to be a little bit, um, little bit um, more far range, you know? Maybe it would have a little bit more range to it because I was really struggling to get into range of the boss to deal damage with the incendiary pistols, even though the pistols were much, much more powerful in terms of the damage that they were doing, at least that's what I could see. But it seems to me like, yeah, we really, I felt like we really had a nice run there. A lot of our powers that we picked up were super, super nice and were able to do some massive damage with it. Really fun. And um, yeah, I was actually quite happy with my build as well. But the one thing I really wanted to see more of was more ultra beam. I really wanted to upgrade my Ultra Beam more. I personally feel like Ultra Beam is one of the most fun abilities. And you could see there that whenever I started to use Ultra Beam against the boss, I was doing... Are you ready for battle? I think it was initially, at least, the, the first hit of many did 22,000 damage. At least that's what I, I thought I could see right there. So it was... Yeah, I gotta say, it, it was... Oh, that was that build was a lot of fun. So I'm actually going to continue trying to um, increase my level a little bit here. And if you'd like to check out Anvil, then there is a link in the description. And there's also a demo available if you want to play that too. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.